Hello everyone, this is Mike Paduan. We're back to our latest update. This is the weather analysis for today, Thursday until Saturday, July 10 to 12, 2025. This is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we would like to thank our partners, Aboy Tees Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainability, if you want to know more about the uh, sustainability project or program of uh, BPI, just click on the link here. And also the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Lenny Robredo and our Vice Mayor Gabi Bordado. So let's begin with our update. We don't have any tropical cyclones right now. Tropical storm Danas, which was once a typhoon that made landfall over the western sections of uh, Taiwan has uh, dissipated into a low pressure area. It's just a remnant low over the area of uh, Guangdong, moving to the north of uh, Hong Kong. That system made landfall over Zhejiang uh, province uh, near the uh, uh, s south of Shanghai and it moved across Fujian as a mm -hmm. low pre uh, tropical depression. Okay, And it's now just a low pressure system and it's currently bringing more rainfall across Guangdong as of this time after bringing uh, ample amounts of rainfall across the eastern sections of China. We have here two weak low pressure areas, 92W, east of Taiwan and another one here to the south of Japan. The system is slightly enhancing the southwest monsoon across our country and there are some thunderstorms bringing uh, possible heavy rainfall with uh, some flash floods across the western sections of Visayas, western Mindanao and Palawan and uh, it looks like next week there might be another system that may form that may form here to the east of Luzon and it is quite worth watching for possible enhancement of the southwest monsoon. The latest right now it looks like the uh, uh, modern Junyan oscillation after uh, a few uh, days of uh, uh, weakening. It's now expected to re-intensify and move across the maritime uh, continent of Asia and it's likely to pass over to the east of the Philippines. So this is the uh, Philippine uh, area so we expect more rainfall brought about by the development of another LPA that could become a tropical cyclone next week before the weekend and the enhancement of the southwest monsoon. So if this uh, MJO is strong, there might be more rainfall across the western sections of uh, our country, particularly Palawan, Mimaropa, western Visayas, and western Mindanao because that's what the computer model says right now, especially the European model I'm going to show to you later in our update and uh, from now this is july 8 two days ago the forecast is the return of the wet phase of the modern junior oscillation so uh, beginning next week until uh, july 23rd we might see an enhancement of the wet phase of the uh, mjo so expect more rainfall more southwest monsoon and tropical cyclone formation to occur over the Western Pacific to the east of our country moving towards either Korea, Taiwan, or Japan. So that's the uh, uh, possible uh, forecast. But right now, it's still less than 30% accuracy, low probability. Okay, so here's the uh, latest fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. You can clearly see here the cloudiness or the remnants of XTD Danas. And it's bringing some heavy rainfall, thunderstorms across Guangdong province, including Hong Kong and also Taiwan because of a low pressure system here and another one here and there's another one here, 93W, that was a, uh, a newly formed LPA near Iwato and we have here an upper level low generating some convection to the south of this uh, upper level low so uh, there's no uh, tropical cyclone development yet as of this time. We have here the intertropical convergence zone creating some sort of a uh, tropical wave here over central Micronesia and uh, this is now the uh, southwesterly wind flow. There are some areas with dry conditions but 
In the afternoon evening, especially over Mindanao, Visayas, and Mimaropa, we expect some thunderstorms to occur for today. But in the next uh, few days, particularly in, in the middle of next week, the southwest monsoon will be back based on the latest uh, European model uh, forecast. Now here's the uh, zoom in southern animation as the uh, afternoon progresses today. More thunderstorms can be observed here across a uh, wide area of the Visayas, Mimaropa, Mindanao, and also over northern Luzon. Here over Bicol region, we are experiencing some dry conditions, but uh, there are pulsating thunderstorms forming over Karamoan Peninsula, but it quickly dissipates. Okay, So uh, we will wait and see until next week what will be the outcome of the next surge of the northeast monsoon. So here's the 24-hour uh, rainfall accumulation forecast for the next five days from windy.com from the European model. So today and tomorrow, Friday, we expect more thunderstorms over Palawan, the western sections of Visayas, and also over western Mindanao. The rest will only experience some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms now if we move this slider into saturday the uh mm, thunderstorms of the southwest monsoon the weak one will continue to affect western visayas and mimagopa and on sunday it will start to uh, weaken into monday okay just isolated across the country but on tuesday july 15 16, 17, 18, and 19. Look at that. These areas of uh, Mimaropa and uh, Visayas, Western Mindanao, will have the effects of the southwest monsoon mm -hmm. because of a large low pressure system forming here to the east of Luzon that will be on July 17. Okay? That's uh, a week from now. So. We will monitor this system once it appears we will uh, issue some updates okay and once it becomes a tropical cyclone we will be issuing advisories uh, of this system but it looks like there will be no landfall or direct effect to our country the problem of us right now is the intensifying southwest monsoon so this is the area that we are going to watch but take note, this forecast is less than 30% uh, probability since uh, the five-day forecast, so uh, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, until Tuesday, is up to 50% accuracy. So on Tuesday next week, we already are looking at some rain showers and thunderstorms occasional because of the southwest monsoon. So we will keep you updated on that. Now for the wind forecast. This is the latest one, so we're going to move this until Tuesday. The remnants of Danas is now moving towards Leisure Peninsula and the southwest monsoon will remain over the western sections of the country and the West Philippine Sea. By Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, it will start to weaken a bit. But uh, there might be another weather system forming here in the vicinity of uh, Japan. It's way, way up north. It's not. Uh, it's likely a uh, subtropical low or a tropical cyclone. It depends on the outcome of the computer models. So by Tuesday, mm -hmm. there might be a low pressure forming here, particularly Wednesday. Then Thursday, we got a large monsoon depression, likely a tropical depression or low pressure system. It's uh, large enough, covering the whole of the East Philippine Sea and the North Philippine Sea. So, because of that, the southwest monsoon is uh, initially over Mimaropa and Visayas as well as western Mindanao. So, that will be the flow of the southwest monsoon. Metro Manila, the rest of Luzon, and uh, parts of Bindoro, Bicol is not yet affected. But we expect thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. Just the usual tropical climate. Okay, and then by Friday, once the system becomes a tropical storm, it will move towards uh, the area of uh, Okinawa or Taiwan. So the European model is moving towards Okinawa. So the southwest monsoon will start to move more to the north, bringing it over Mindoro and the western Bicol region. 
next uh, uh, next next Sunday, uh, July twentieth, and then uh, and then July twenty first, it will affect the uh, western sections of southern Luzon, and also on July twenty second, once it moves out of the uh, Philippine area responsibility, this large storm it will now affect the western sections of central and northern Luzon. So that will be the forecast the uh, middle to long range forecast but the accuracy of this is uh, highly uncertain very low probability so it's not yet sure if this will push through but we will monitor this system even the american model is showing this kind of weather system look at this okay so th there's also a uh, cyclone up north so we expect that the uh, southwest monsoon will be reactivated next week to the weekend of next week okay so that will be july 16 to july 22 23 we are having uh, we will be having a possibility of a southwest monsoonal weather weather conditions across our country so along the western sections of luzon western visayas mimokopa please take all necessary precautions for possible on and off rainfall severe thunderstorms that could produce flooding and landslides thought about by this uh, southwest monsoon that will be enhanced by a potential large slow pressure system that is expected to move towards the general direction of the southern islands of japan so it will form here on uh, um, wednesday july 16 or thursday july 17 and it will track towards the southern islands of japan we still don't know if this will be the final track remember forecast changes every 12 to 24 hours so we will know next week if that track will still be the same or it will change or if it will not come through we will know uh, when we return by uh, saturday by saturday we have another update okay so here's the uh, latest from the uh, google DeepMind AI, their experimental model of the forecast, and we will forward this on July 14, or 15, 16, 17. There you go. So you can see here if we slide back and forth, July 16 to 19, 20, there's already some pockets of a possible formation, and it's currently here in this area. So we will monitor that uh, area of the uh, Philippine Sea next week based on what the uh, European model and the DeepMind AI uh, experimental model of Google shows, okay? And for the uh, ECMWF, European Model Ensemble, there's another uh, system here. This is 93W. It will clock here. And, then, and this is the one that we are concerned of. Okay, we will go to monitor this part of the uh, Philippine Sea for a possibility of a uh, tropical cyclone formation. Now for the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two to three weeks, uh, where in the third week is highly uncertain, very low probability. Second week, 50% probability. It shows here July 16 to 22, there might be a uh, more than 60% chances of a tropical cyclone formation east of Luzon. So this might come true okay because both of the computer models the american and the european model say 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 it so okay so we will wait and see for the third week again same area but more than 40 percent probability so this is highly uncertain july 20 to july 29 but uh, we will keep you updated week to week on what will be the outcome of this forecast as well as for pagasa you can clearly see here that the uh, TC uh, threat potential graph of Pagasa, which was issued yesterday, shows here the uh, possibility of a cyclone on week 2, July 16 to 22. So this is now the one that uh, the uh, American and the European model mm -hmm. are predicting beginning uh, Wednesday or Thursday next week, July 16 or 17. So we will uh, going to focus our attention on that possible low pressure system but uh, based on the last forecast of Pagasa it's still uh, mm -hmm, low chance low likelihood of tropical cycle formation but since both of the computer models agree so the the likelihood is somewhat between 30 to 50 percent so 
We will wait and see. So there you go. That's the latest from our Typhoon 2000 weather update. Uh, weather TV update. And we will return this weekend for another uh, YouTube and Facebook video analysis. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying uh, good day to all. Have a great uh, week and weekend ahead. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.